Presidents of the Senja Motion, Minority Leader Harune Jisu, and Ranking Member of the Finance Committee, Dr. Casey Latoforsing, presented seven grounds to Senja the Finance Minister. In over 50 years, the highest rise in inflation for 40 years, this inflation has contributed to the unacceptable hardships that Ghanaians are going through. And we are holding the Honorable Minister for Finance holy and solely responsible for that. Deliberate and dishonest misreporting of economic data to Parliament. The government since 2018 has been misreporting economic data to Parliament with the aim of misleading Parliament and investor community. The misreporting to Parliament was mainly to inform Parliament that the Finance Minister has complied with the Fiscal Responsibility Act, Act 2018, Act, uh, Act 982, particularly Section 7, when that was not the case. But before the Finance Minister presented his defence during the sitting on Friday, the committee had already decided two of the grounds were no longer viable. Your counsel, uh, Mr. Gabi Ochiridako, Esquire, uh, raised an objection, a preliminary objection to ground number one, the one dealing with the conflict of interest. And in summary, basically what he <clears throat> said was that uh, this committee, as a committee of parliament, did not have um, jurisdiction, so to speak, to inquire into this matter. Then also, ground number three, relating to illegal payments of all revenues into offshore accounts in flagrant violation of Article 176 of the 1992 Constitution. They also did not say anything to the effect that you gave any instructions with respect to that payment. The finance minister then sets the record straight regarding where and how the controversial National Cathedral is being financed. We certainly did receive uh, parliamentary approval um, for whatever we do with our contingency vote. And that is what I went through to do that. His team challenged a minority to prove how the disbursements were unconstitutionally made. The minister has already explained that there was uh, an appropriation and then the, um, the payments were made out of the contingency vote as part of the appropriation for other government business. Obligations. I don't see how that is unconstitutional. And if... Um, the Honourable Member has a contrary procedure, which in his view is the lawful procedure, then he must show us. The committee sitting has thus come to an end and the committee is expected to meet, write its report and present to the plenary for debate and action. Well, it may seem a majority of citizens want the Finance Minister Kenoforiata out, but it is also becoming obvious using illegal means will reveal one man cannot be blamed for the current economic woes. And if any move succeeds in getting the minister out, some would definitely argue that it is more of emotions than grounded logic.